Are you struggling to advance in Modern Warfare Zombies? Well, this is a complete guide to every free perk in the newest Zombies game. That's right, eight of them. They're free and you can get them every round. Here is the map of Modern Warfare Zombies. We're gonna start at the Northwest first and we're gonna go counterclockwise all the way around through each of them. We're gonna show the location specifically as well for every single one. In D2, you're gonna find this giant hawk over here. Just grab any vehicle, drive up to that little hawk. It's so pretty, check it out! Get a little bit of speed, head all the way up and you're gonna launch off the edge, but first, it's our buddy, Mr. Peaks! Yeet it! Hear that sound? The sound of freedom. Grab your speed cola can. And don't forget this sweet little uh, hidden cache. Head over to C3 here in the west. There's a campfire that you're looking for, and this is the Juggernaut perk. Honestly, one of the most important perks in the game, particularly for tier three, where you need that extra health. But pull up and look for this campfire that is unlit. You need a thermite or a Molotov. Mr. Peaks! Thermite or Molotov, hit that. Avoid the tier two zombies if you don't have a good gun yet. And come on back for your free juggernaut. Now you're feeling powerful. Let's move on to the fourth one. In D7 in the Southwest, you'll find a high rise building where you can get stamina up 15 stories and you have to run from the very bottom to the top without stopping Mr. Peaks. So just run up it. This took me almost an entire minute, even with the pistol, which is faster running. But run up without stopping. If you hit any zombies on the way or any zombies hit you, you'll have to restart. So you may need to clear it once. But when you get to the top, all the way at the 15th floor, you're gonna hear this sound. You did it! And... Stamina up. Another great perk for tier three. The fourth free perk is all the way south in G8, and you will need a sniper rifle to do this one, or at least a scoped weapon. You're gonna come to this construction zone, hop up, head on in, up the two flights of stairs, doop a doop a do, kill any zombies you might need to, and you'll see in the distance, there's somebody out there. <gasps> Mr. Peaks! Look at him. Ah! Oh my gosh. It scares me every time, it really does. Oh. But anyways, you will now get perk five, the Tombstone Soda Can, which is fantastic. I'll get another video on how to use that. It's incredible, actually. The PhD Flopper is our sixth perk, and it is found in H7 in a swimming pool at Shaheen Manor. Get another vehicle, ride on over. Now, when you get to the property, you're gonna see this awesome resort-style pool. But head inside, you're gonna go up two flights of stairs. It seems like two flights is always how many you have to go up. But your goal is to get to the roof to this spot. Hop on this ledge, jump up here. You may need to get a pistol or your fists out to make this jump. Now, when you're on this terrace, look down. Yes, deep end is good, shallow end bad. Deep end, yes. You are gonna do a straight up belly flop from the top rope down below. Oh! Get that lovely sound. And then you will get the one, the only, the PhD flopper can, which is so much fun to use. Let's do a little yeet. You're dead. Yeet. You're dead too. You're dead three. And one more just because we can. <laughs> the quick revive will be found in H6, and you will need a quad for this. You're gonna pull up to this first sign, and you're gonna notice there's somebody up there, Mr. Peaks! So then just inch up your quad. You're actually gonna have to sit underneath Mr. Peaks for a little bit until you hear that sound, and then jam. You gotta go pretty quick, but you'll make it. Be careful here though, because there is a mercenary camp often here, and they will shred your quad in seconds. But once you get to the next signpost, the lovely sound returns, and you get a quick revive. Hooray! You can help your friends now. Yay! Go, go, go. 
in i3, we get the Deadshot Daiquiri. Now, I don't know about you, but if you are on computer, I can't tell any difference using that. Is controller different? Let me know. But go to this graveyard. You're going to see that little hole. That's the nade hole. Throw that nade. It can be a Simtex or a grenade, but get that through there. If you miss, there's an ammo box nearby to refill. And boom. Good old Deadshot Daiquiri. Way in the north in E1, you're going to find this giant silo where you will get the Death Perception Can. Once you get up here, it is a long ways down, so check it out. You're going to see these three little rings over there. you got to fly through all of them. So what I like to do, I like to go the opposite direction through. I find it to be successful much more often. But keep in mind, these can only be activated once per round. So if somebody's already done it, you can't do it. But there you go. That is the Death Perception Can. That is all eight free perks in Modern Warfare Zombies. But let me finish off with a couple other tips, tricks, and Easter eggs. As you start running tier three, higher packer punches, legendary and epic ethers to get that different color on your gun, this place is critical. It's in E4, and this is next to the dog kennel. You got little Mr. Peaks right there, my little buddy. There you go, that's the location. And this spot, pay respects. You can see here, I have a level one pack a punch with an epic ether, the purple. When you put that in, you probably need a decoy or symbol monkey or something here to be able to get the tier three zombies off you because it takes away your pack a punch. This time I only got a cryo freeze because my gun is low. But on another run where I didn't get great video quality, I got a legendary ether tool and a level one pack a punch. And all I had was a gold level two pack a punch. So there is some randomization in this but it makes a massive difference to set you up for the next round. My next tip is don't be afraid of dying and don't be afraid of trying. I always tell my daughter since she was like five years old playing video games with me, if you ain't dying, you ain't trying. And now she says that back to me when I get frustrated, which is kind of annoying. But you can actually solo the tier three contracts. I'm working on finishing up a video both to farm extremely fast without any powerful weapons, but also how to take high value targets and bounties down solo in tier three. And I was doing it regularly. I did it for about two hours yesterday as my friends were uh, getting used to the game and just staying in zone one farming. I was out here farming in tier three, getting mega bounties, mega abominations. It's not actually that hard once you get the hang of it. The, the couple tricks are use your fist to run because you're much faster. You can also use a mortar strike if you have two weapons, that's even faster. Um, get the thermite crossbow. It is a slayer. Even with a tier one pack a punch purple, it's fantastic. And as you boost it up, as you boost it up, it only gets better. And that's because the thermite bolts actually stack damage. So as it's burning, if you stick on five, 10, 15 bolts, all those thermites are doing damage to that high value target continuously until they burn out. So you can easily solo bounties once you get the flow of it. Hopefully you enjoyed this all. I'm going to have tons of other videos coming out on both zombies, on the upcoming Warzone integration, as well as the Modern Warfare 3 news. And I will see you all soon.